The Hanson family uh, are a beautiful Sunny Coast lo- group of locals who, uh, doing their daily business, discovered that one of their one of their tribe had an issue. And joining us right now is Jordan, Jack, Aspen, and Valley. Good morning, guys. How are you going? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Now, Jordy, can you explain to us why this came to be and how this came to be for you guys that there was a requirement for blood products in your family? So Aspen was diagnosed with leukemia um, on the 17th of 17th of August, um, two years ago. So, yeah, we obviously went down that pathway, and that blood, especially red blood and platelets, are a really important part of that journey because the chemotherapy that they go um, through wipes their body out. So we, yeah, realised how important blood really is for those families and those kids that have to go through this journey and um, other journeys similar. So we now know the really big importance of it. So if you can come down and donate um, whenever you can, it's yeah, a really important thing to many people. <laughs> Aspen's <laughs> giving dad stacks of kisses here right now. And I can I say, um, from a personal point of view, as a dad of a little girl myself, um, I can only imagine, and hearing your story, the journey you've been through, and just how brave you are, and also as ambassadors for what you're doing now. Mm. Like, because it must be exhausting, this whole, you know, you kind of like, can we have our lives back, please? We just actually want to get on with our normal little family and do normal little things. Um, but, but it is a huge thing that you guys continue to do. And to see the smile on Aspen's face surely makes this all worthwhile. Yeah, look, it does. I mean, it's um, it's so important. I think we're probably some of the lucky ones, and we talk about one family on the coast here that needed some blood and a little girl, but there are so many others out there, and there's so many others that have, um, you know, I guess um, situations that are even worse than what ours are, um, and it's so important for these little kids, but everyone that, um, you know, needs blood and needs blood products to... Um, be able to stay alive because of it. Now, Jack, we spoke to you the other day on air about where Aspen is at within her journey. And for those who missed it, can you give us a, a quick recap of where Aspen's at um, in her journey? And I was just talking to Jordan earlier and she was saying that um, Aspen still needs to get blood tests every two weeks, yeah? Yeah, so we're on our way to school this morning for her to go and get her, um, her sort of fortnightly checkup in terms of bloods. Um, for Aspen, she's in maintenance at the moment and as you can here or you would see if you see around she runs around like a normal pretty normal three-year-old um crazy but the only, lots of poo um, jokes which we loved yeah. on there the other day it was great the only, you know the only difference for her at the moment she's still got a little port um which they access to give her a, a chemotherapy and um treatment and her main procedure every three months which includes you know still a general anesthetic lumbar puncture chemo into her spine which is the intrathecal chemo um plus chemo into her port and that's now three monthly which is um huge for us because at once upon a time that was every seven days or wow. even more than that so it was it was pretty crazy in the beginning but um you know now life's turned to a little bit norm- more normal um whether a or not normal. life actually goes back normal. Yeah. to normal um we're not so sure but aspen finishes treatment on the 21st of october so the two and a half years or thereabouts of what it's supposed to be have gone fairly quick for us I do That's know um, a few of our little friends that have finished treatment, though they still require blood products, platelets, plasma, and red blood um, because of the, you know, the the post issues that arise after finishing treatment. So even kids that have been on the same journey as Aspen can end up still needing stuff for a long time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It, it's a massive journey. Even when it's done, for some families, it's it's not done. So. Absolutely. I'm- we're going to post a photo uh, with you guys at the end of this segment uh, on our Facebook page, and I encourage everybody to get on and have a look because if you ever, ever needed a reason to get off your bum and down to a blood bank and donate blood, it is this family and this beautiful little girl. So uh, it's enough to inspire me, and I'm sure it'll do the same for you. Absolutely. Now, Aspen wanted to be on the radio this morning. So, Aspen, how are you feeling? Are you, are you good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you, do you, now, now, Mum wouldn't let you do any poo jokes on the radio today, but, but Arnie Ash is going to let you do a poo joke. Do you, do you have any poo jokes? Oh, you're not no. Oh, we're saving the poo jokes today. Yeah, yeah. you're going to have to pay for that now. So that's what she does. Gives you a little sample, and then if you want more, you got to pay to see a show. I get it. Sam, you do a joke. 
No. <laughs> well, Aspen, we are super proud of you. You're an incredible, incredible young lady. And thank you guys um, for coming into our lives as well because without you guys, we wouldn't be able to get the message out there about how important blood donation is.